Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Istanbul, not Constantinople, okay? So it goes like this, a very catchy theme, I'll give you a preview right now, check it out. So, it, so here we go, very catchy theme. All right, the main thing is the right hand is very jumpy, so that's probably the main difficult part of the lesson. But anyway, do it very slowly, then practice um, building your speed up. But anyway, so here we go. Let's go ahead and break it up into a few parts to learn, so it's easy to learn. Let me see. We'll break it up into four parts, okay? First part goes like this. Starting with the F, right, just above middle C. So F, A flat, up to C down to the lower octave C, up to F, A flat, up to D flat, C, and then octave below C three times. And that's it for the first part, okay? One more time, it goes F, A flat, C, low uh, octave C, F, A flat, up to D flat, C, octave below C three times. That's it, so you just wanna build the speed. Like that, okay? That's the first part for the right hand. Left hand, it's one chord, the one chord is F minor, which is F, A flat, C. Alright, so with that F minor in mind, the two hands together goes like this. F and F minor together. That's it. Just on the first chord with the first note on the right hand. Pretty much all the parts, it's like the first note on the right hand is played with the chord, so not much to actually think about. So. The main thing is just the right hand getting up to speed. But anyway, moving on to the second part, right hand continues, because, um, let me see. Uh, oh, awesome stuff. The second part is actually exactly the same as the first part, so we just save some time. Like that. So that's the second part as well. So back to back, the two parts we've learned so far, it's just the first part played twice. So it just goes like this. However, moving on, the third part is different. It goes to E, G, B flat, down to C, E, G, B flat, B flat, G, F, E, like that. Okay, one more time. So it goes like this. It goes E, G, B flat, C, E, G, B flat, B flat, G, F, E. That's it for the right hand for the third part. Left hand, different chord as well. It's C major, which is C, E, G. Fully white note chord, okay? Easy to remember. With that in mind, turn together. goes like this. The same thing. First note on the right hand with the chord together. So together. Like that simple stuff. So together. That's it. So back to back, the three parts we've played so far and learned so far will be played like this. Check it out. Like that. Moving on to the fourth and last part, right hand, it goes or F. So it goes F, 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 F. Like that. So essentially eight Fs in a row, but it goes groups in one and plus two plus four plus one. So one, two, four, one. Remember that one, two, four, one. So it's like one, one, two, one, two, three, four, one. Like that. Yeah, because it's easier to remember that way. So one, two, four, one, that's just like groups. So like one, one, two, one, two, three, four, one. Like that. That's the right hand. Left hand just F minor, which you know, F A flat C. So two hands together, same thing, first note and the chord together. Together. Like that, easy, just together. Yeah, and that's that. Back to back, all four parts we play like this, and you just loop it. Very catchy. Repeats. Yeah, that's it. So once you get all the melody and chords are good, you can start to add other improvisations to make it more bouncy. Left hand can do like octave. Rhythmic patterns, octave like arpeggios, that kind of thing, okay? So you'd be like. makes it a lot more bouncy if you do like these kind of like arpeggio patterns like that but obviously you need to get the chords first because it does require some hand independence going on but it's still based off the chords anyway because you're just arpeggiating based on the chords so that's why it's 
good like that to learn the melody and chords first. But anyways, that's that, okay? So learn other many catchy themes on my channel like this, so like a lot of piano tutorials like this, so just do a search and you'll find it. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime and cartoon theme songs and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.